Hey guys, this is Julia Miller. I'm the founder and the director of Citywide Singles. I want to wish you a very merry Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> and a happy... Oh, happy Thanksgiving. There Thanksgiving. we go. <laughs> well, I'm here with Wendy, uh, as well as Forrest, and you guys know that they keep me on track. <laughs> and um, we wanted to share a Bible verse with you that comes from Psalms 103 that says, Praise the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me. Praise his holy name. And forget not his benefits, who heals or forgives all of your sins, heals all Amen. of your diseases, Amen. and redeems your life from the pit. And he renews your youth. This is my yes. favorite part, like that of the eagles. Amen. So <laughs> I know I cut a little bit out of there. But anyway, I wanted to make the point that Thanksgiving is a time for us to be thankful for everything that God has given us, everything that God is doing in our life. But that we don't have to just wait for Thanksgiving Day to be thankful. That we actually have the opportunity to praise and worship Him every day. And I'm very grateful that we live in a nation that we do get to praise the God that we choose. Um, and that we believe that there is one God, Jesus Christ, His Son, mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity. We believe that. And we get to Amen. express that in this day and age. So even if you're having a hard time finding something to be thankful for, I know it's been a tough couple of years, be thankful. Be thankful that you have a roof over your head. Be thankful that you have friends um, that are coming alongside you. I know that Cindy... <laughs> <laughs> like you, do. Yes, We're thank grateful you, for thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I have sweet friends here with me. And I'm going to let them talk here in just a second. But in the meantime... <laughs> I never get to talk anymore. <laughs> um, but in the meantime, I just want to kind of put this little plug in for you guys. That if you would just grab a scripture, just ask God for a scripture to meditate on, it makes it so much easier. Like maybe Psalms 23, maybe you learned Psalms 23 when you were growing up, which is the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And he leads me beside the still waters and he restores my soul. I love the part that he talks about restoring our soul and just meditate on that. And just be thankful, God, you are restoring my soul. Even if you haven't seen it happen yet, you can meditate on God's word because God is his word. And his word does not return void. He is always faithful to perform his word. So I'm going to ask um, Forrest really quick because, Forrest, um, we want to know what you are thankful about. Well, thank you, Julia. I'm very thankful for um, not only... Um, the church I attend and our, the faith that has saved me and uh, as you've explained, Julia, just the important uh, parameters of that faith and the Holy Trinity and the Lord's blessing upon our lives through uh, that gift of grace and salvation. So that's also very front and center for me. Uh, but as well as, you know, the country we live in and the freedom that we still, even though it's been a tough couple of years, the freedom that we're still able to, to enjoy Absolutely. And uh, what we have to do in part to make sure that we still get to do that in the years and generations in the future for us and our children and our children's children. Uh, absolutely. So I'm thankful for that as well as this great uh, community right here that uh, Julia <laughs> has uh, <laughs> assembled. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, if you don't come to, to the things I host at my house... You're missing out. Yes. It is a tribe. It is, it is a tribe. It is a tribe. For real. We, we've grown close over the last couple of years. And so um, just be watching for posts in the future. We are planning on doing a conference in February that is going, I haven't told you this yet, uh, Wendy and Forrest. Yeah, news but, to me. Right, yeah. right. We, uh, we met with someone yesterday, and I don't <laughs> to say who it is, but who is going to be telling us uh, a lot about becoming a secured party predator. Which, if you don't know what that means, we'll be explaining it in the months uh, ahead if it's something that you're interested in. But it's about taking back our sovereignty. Mm -hmm. And, um, yes, and God meant for us to be free. He created us to be free. Our Constitution uh, was written on biblical principles. Our founding fathers, they took the time. They, they not only wrote the Constitution, the Declaration of Freedom of, uh, of Independence, and the other documents, they prayed over it as they do. And we know this because there are documented letters where they were writing back and forth to their wives saying, please pray for us. We're fasting and we're praying and we're, we're writing these, these things. So I, I'm impressing this upon you because we live in a time and a place where we're being fed a narrative that isn't correct. You'll see if you turn on mainstream media, you'll see them keep talking and saying this, this phrase 
that it, it's a threat to our democracy. Well, just just rebuke that in Jesus' name. Because I we rebuke are, it in we, Jesus' name. We are not a democracy. We we're are a constitu- republic. We're a constitutional republic. We were built on a constitution, and the difference is, is the constitution was written on biblical principles, and we are a, a nation that's for the people and by the people. So when you are praying over yourself and your family, I encourage you to put in a prayer also for our nation that God would protect and keep our nation as a free nation, that he would protect our sovereignty, and that he would enable us to have many Thanksgivings and years to come. I want to give uh, Wendy, this is Wendy Carden, Forrest Davis just spoke a second ago. If you don't know Forrest, he hasn't been, I don't think you've been in one of our videos previously, but he is a precinct chair out in what county? Johnson. Johnson County. So if you're in Johnson County, you know, definitely send us a message. You might be able to connect with Forrest. Um, he's doing a great job of re- representing his community in that area. And Wendy, what would you have to add? Oh, I'm so thankful for my friends and not just my friends, but how they support my dreams and bring me laughter. <laughs> yeah, She's well, talking about me. It's <laughs> 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 just one big laugh fest around here. It is. It is. I call her giggles. <laughs> this is true, by the way. <laughs> He's vouching for us. <laughs> anyway, we are about to go catch up with my brother. If you don't know who my brother is, his name is John Pignatelli. He's the amazing senior pastor of the Consumed Church over on Precinct Line, which just happens to be where we're going to be doing our Christmas party on December 10th. If you haven't already signed up, uh, either send me a private message or look at the top of the page under the events. It's $30. It will include your dinner, dancing, DJ, all that good stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun, and we want to see you there. Anyway, I hope you guys have a fabulous Thanksgiving. Know that I love you, but more importantly, God loves you. He's got a good and awesome plan for your life, plans to bless you and to prosper you, a plan to give you a hope and a future. All you have to do is call upon his name. Love you so much. Be blessed.